and uh, recently though I did suffer a little bit of a health scare although my blood work has been good and every single month I still go get my blood labs done at a local clinic and uh, it came back not so great what's doing guys let me adjust my camera it's a little bit funky I haven't filmed in like a week I took a little break but I am back <sighs> I needed a little bit of a mental health week to be honest with you guys I had quite honestly one of the worst months of my life and it may not seem that way because I like to keep it pretty upbeat and happy here on my channel and my social media and uh, lately over the past couple of years I haven't really disclosed a lot about my personal life and my mental health and really even about my health on my YouTube channel uh, just because I just I, I try not to dwell too much on the negative on here uh, but a lot of the questions that I get on here a lot of the questions that I get my social media is what is going on with my health so I figured that for today's video I was going to sit down with you guys and give you a health update but not just a physical health update but also give you guys a mental health update because I feel like there have been some really big changes lately in the year 2022 and I have so much I can tell you guys I am a pretty private person, but just for today's video, I think I'm gonna open up and let you guys know what's been going on and share a little bit more insight into what's been going on in my life. So let's get right into it. Uh, if you guys have been with me and with my channel, you know that back in 2016, in the summer of 2016, I was diagnosed with a rare bone marrow failure condition called aplastic anemia. And if you don't know what that is it's a lot more serious than it sounds it this is serious plastic anemia is like I said before a bone marrow failure condition basically when your bone marrow which is the center system of your blood production stops producing blood and blood is one of the most critical things for life if you don't produce blood you pretty much die and uh, blood contains three major components for life which are your platelets which help you clot whenever you bump yourself so if you don't clot you pretty much bleed to death uh, it also contains your white cells which protect you against infection if you don't have blood cells you can't fight off viruses and bacteria and you know you're immunocompromised otherwise and it also contains what's the other one red cells yes duh which uh, help circulate oxygen to your major organs and so if you're lacking in red cells your organs become very very exhausted it puts a lot of strain and pressure on your heart your your brain you're just very very tired and out of breath all the time so you know you're you're technically anemic but aplastic anemia means that all three major blood groups your white cells your platelets your red cells are all deficient are all severely critically low and so when I was first diagnosed with aplastic anemia back in 2016 I was critically ill I was on the verge of dying and so I was admitted in into a research trial at the National Institute of Health and I underwent a treatment called horse ATG where I was was pumped with horse proteins and I was put under immunosuppression therapy which I am still um, going through the day I'm still under immunosuppression therapy I am now two years almost two years in remission it's been quite a long journey to get to this point I did suffer one relapse and I was a very slow responder to treatment so it took me several years to get into remission and the journey to remission was very painful, very slow and there were points in my journey to remission where doctors even suspected that it was not possible for me to get into remission and they were even entertaining other possible alternative treatments because they deemed my treatment a failure but I just kept going and kept insisting that I was going to be a 
very slow responder, that my bone marrow just needed extra time. So through the help of support groups and just really, you know, taking time, patience, and with the help of my family, I just hung in there. And now I am several years post-treatment and here I am, I'm alive. And I can't really say I was the most uh, like good patient because I did some really irresponsible things. As you guys know, I went on before the 90 days. I traveled, I went to Australia. I was a dumbass. And you know, there are, there are things that I did that make me think to this day, wow, I'm pretty lucky to be alive, but I had some guardian angels watching over me. That is for sure. <gasps> are you my guardian angel? Um, but yes, I never had a bone marrow transplant. I never had a viable bone marrow match. I uh, was never a candidate for that. So that is why I am on immunosuppressive therapy to this day. And I most likely will be uh, for a long time. And uh, currently my doctors are trying to taper me off of my immunosuppressive medication to see if it's possible for me to possibly be off of it one day. But there is a high risk that if I were to ever come off of this medication, that my body would relapse again. Um, and if that were to happen, then I would need a bone marrow transplant. But we will see, my numbers are good, my my blood levels are good. Everything checks out. And uh, recently though, I did suffer a little bit of a health scare. Although my blood work has been good and every single month, I still go get my blood labs done at a local clinic. And so that's why I'm making this video today because I get asked a lot is like, how is my aplastic anemia doing? And I really don't talk about it very very much because there is no reason to. I'm in remission, I'm healthy, I don't want to really bring too much attention to something that is kind of like past me. I put it behind me. I'm trying to live a normal life. Uh, what happened to me with aplastic anemia was really, really traumatic. And while I do talk about it once in a while, if I want to like raise awareness for it, or if I want to sign people up for the bone marrow donation registry, uh, or just people ask me about it once in a while, I do mention it. Uh, but you know, people don't realize that like, that was an extremely challenging part of my life for me, my family. And so, you know, now people are like, why don't you talk about aplastic anemia anymore? Why don't you talk about being sick anymore? Like, did you did you fake it? Did you lie about it? And no, I it's been like two years now I'm in remission. I'm just trying to be as a normal of a person as possible. I'm also just like exhausted from this whole COVID thing. Um, that was a whole other challenge for myself and everyone else as well. Um, but uh, I'm bringing it up today, like I said, because two weeks ago I went and got some blood work done and I had a pretty significant drop in my white blood cells. And what I mean is that my white blood cells are usually about a level of around four or five and they drop down to about a one. And my absolute neutrophil count, which is usually around like a two went down to like below one where I was pretty much neutropenic, which means that I, it raised some alarms with my doctors and made them think that I am now at a risk for a potential relapse again. So that worried me a lot. And I've also just been dealing with a lot of stress with work uh, in the past month so many things with business, so many things with with my social media have just gotten so overwhelming and have really taken over my life. And I really had to put a lot of things into perspective and remind myself that if I don't have my health, I don't have anything. And my my health should take priority over anything. And so when I had this health scare, it really reminded me that the most important thing in my life is not social media and is not even my job. I definitely took a step back for a couple days from work and from social media and really took the time to focus again on my health. And um, thankfully, uh, a couple weeks after this health scare, my doctors encouraged me to go and get another round of blood work done. They said, okay, you may have been exposed to a virus. Maybe you came into contact with some COVID. 
who knows this could have just been a little blip on your radar let's go do another round of blood work and see what happens so a couple weeks later i went and did another round of blood work and everything went back up to normal oh, those yes! New ones. yes 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 so thankfully it was just a scare but it's just it's crazy how like this is like just a part of my life this anxiety roller coaster of just endless blood work and it's been years now since my diagnosis but it's just something that i constantly have to live through over and over again it's just a reality that a lot of chronically ill people have to deal with it's a reality a lot of aplastic anemia patients have to deal with it is just this cycle of blood work and this PTSD of will I ever get sick again and will it ever come back and it's just a hard reality to face because you just never know if relapse is around the corner so you really have to try to live as much in the moment as possible and I have to remind myself not to let little things stress me out because I have started to allow little dumb things to stress me out, especially dealing with social media and work. Like I love my job, I love my business but it's it shouldn't be everything it shouldn't be the most important thing in the world yeah and my mental health hasn't been the greatest this year i have been so anxious i've been so high strung and i really need to get back to just not giving up so much <laughs> so um yeah that's kind of like my little health and mental health update with everything that's going on i'm okay i'm not dying um even though i thought i was for a few days um my aplastic anemia is still under control i definitely need to keep working on my mental health because I think that's the final frontier for me as far as my health goes. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great week and I hope to see you tomorrow. I upload every single day and make sure you click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.